Prince Andrew, the Duke of York's daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie will be struggling to cope with the fallout of his legal battle and what the princesses may face with their royal status in the future, royal experts have warned. The Duke has spent the last few years embroiled in a civil case against accuser Virginia Roberts Dufre in the United States. Although the Duke has always vehemently denied the allegations against him, he has reached a settlement in principle with Ms. Dufre for an undisclosed sum reported to be around £12 million earlier this week. He's already stepped down from public life and earlier this year was stripped of all his military affiliations and royal patronages from his mother, the Queen. But now he continues to face calls to strip him of his Duke of York title and moves are in place to remove his honorary freedom of the city of York. But the reputational damage surrounding the royal family in the wake of the scandal has raised questions over the fates of the Duke's daughters Eugenie 31 and Beatrice 33. Writing in the Times, columnist Hilary Rose reminded the country that nobody after all can help their parents and the sins of the father should never be visited on the children. She added, however, with Prince Andrew's removal from public life surely permanent his daughters are in an awkward limbo. This perjury space, she continued, is one in which they are princesses with no royal role and a toxic father who, whilst not admitting liability, has just agreed a multi-million dollar settlement. Although the princesses, who are granddaughters of the Queen, begun life in a prominent position in the royal family's pecking order, they have knocked down the line of succession over the years. However, with growing pressure for the Queen to strip Andrew of his Duke of York title and exile him from all royal duties, what does the future of his two daughters look like? Royal expert Duncan Larcombe has spoken to OK Magazine and admitted that this is an unprecedented issue. He says, We don't actually know historically what this could mean for Eugenie and Beatrice. They are princesses, they're HRHs, but constitutionally, if the Queen strips Prince Andrew of his Duke of York title, their names will change. Their surnames before they got married were York. There is no precedence, certainly in the last 150 years. We're in a period of real upheaval and it's interesting because a year or two ago when Harry and Meghan left, people started to look towards Eugenie and Beatrice as if they were two popular young members of the royal family who might be able to help with the workload and do more as working royals. It would be very useful for the royals to have two solid family units who are popular. I don't think they're tainted by their father in any way. If anything, people will feel a tremendous amount of empathy towards them. You just have to admire the way they have have conducted themselves and supported their parents. And while for now they are still HRHs, Duncan says that the princesses' lives with no doubt feel different. He said, we are in uncharted waters here because their lives will probably feel quite different. Events where they will always have been expected to be at because they were joining their father, like the Easter service at Windsor Castle or Commonwealth Day at Westminster Abbey. We will see them less as a result of their father being stripped of his royal duties. But that might well suit them. Why do we assume that they want anything to do with the working nuts and bolts of the royal family? They're both happily married and have got children. I would have thought this whole episode may make them think they want to carry on with their lives. I can't imagine it raises their enthusiasm for laying themselves bare as a family and exposing themselves and their children to all of the horrible things that can go wrong. Being a royal's great when the flags are waving at you, but when they're throwing eggs, it's not a good position to have. Despite their 1996 divorce and public embarrassments from both mother Sarah Ferguson and father Prince Andrew, Duncan adds how their sisterly bond may be what has kept their family together. It's fair to say that the relationship between Prince Andrew and Fergie is bizarre and, of course, the family unit is really close and clearly very loving. The daughters are grounded and sensible. They've got their heads screwed on. They are definitely an asset to the royal family, not a hindrance. They've never brought any drama or controversy with them. They're a rock-solid unit. Maybe that's simply because they were born into a bizarre situation. No one can understand why Fergie and Andrew, no matter what happens in either of their separate lives stick together like glue. One feels sympathy towards Beatrice and Eugenie, but one thing they do have going for them is their tight family unit. 
They all go skiing together. Maybe that will change now. But Prince Andrew will be there with Fergie on Andrew's birthday. Fergie would have dinner for him and the girls. That's been the way it's been since the end of the 1990s. Duncan continued, Eugenie and Beatrice have been under an immense amount of pressure and in that time they've become mothers. Before Christmas they joined their mother at a charity event and so they haven't hidden away. They haven't publicly commented on the scandal. They've had to cope with a hell of a lot. I believe... I'm right in saying they were each other's matrons of honour and they are very close. Maybe that's the secret to it and it's Beatrice and Eugenie's sisterly bond that has held their mother and dad as a family unit. Meanwhile, despite the difficult times the princesses have been facing, another royal expert previously said she believes Beatrice and Eugenie will be leaning on each other. BBC's former royal correspondent Jenny Bond previously also told OK Magazine, They are very close as sisters. They're very supportive of one another and I think all the turmoil they've had in their young lives has brought them closer together. In the royal family, there is such a limited circle of friends and family who can understand your situation. But then I always thought that William and Harry would have understood any situation, but clearly that's not true. But with Beatrice and Eugenie, I've not heard of any disruption of their relationship.